What up, what up, y'all? Chase fan number nine here. And here's my second part for the paint scheme previews. And this time we'll be taking a look at the paint scheme for the NASCAR Xfinity Series race tomorrow, the Circle K Firecracker 250 at Daytona. Let's take a look at the paint schemes. There's only a few, so this should go by very quick. So without further ado, let's take a look. Cole Custer joined the Double Zero Jacob Company's Ford. Still like it. Tyler Reddick driving a new paint scheme this week. It's the number two Gimme Country Chevrolet. Gimme Country, more like Gimme Good Finishes. That sounds more, more, you, you kind of get the idea. Interesting paint scheme. Interesting paint scheme. Not sure about this fade right here. I'm not sure if if it's to me. It just looks kind of eh. But I, should, I think I'm just seeing one paint scheme. I want to see Tyler. One sponsor I want to see Tyler Reddick run is have Twisted T as a primary sponsor. I want to see him run a paint scheme for that. That would look pretty cool. I'm not sure about the golden, the blue, or maybe maybe it's just me. But yeah, it looks, the, the fade on the side here looks pretty interesting. Can't wait to see again tomorrow night how it it looks. Riley Herbs. Should I have to say what, what his sponsor is because it's pretty obvious. Running that typical Monster Energy scheme. And also speaking of which, um, if you guys haven't heard, Jeffrey Earnhardt and their 81 Xfinity team, unfortunately, for some whatever reason, they... Or with they with they decided to withdraw from this Friday's race, which fucking sucks. But oh well, we've got two more races in that car, Bristol and Darlington. So let's see how he does there. This would have been his chance to shine too. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. But anyways, Brandon Jones, Christopher Bell driving their typical paint scheme. Wait. It's got Orca on. Must be Orca coolers. That's what I think. Bell running. Austin Sindrick. Just like the 12 car earlier this year. The 22 is running the 22 Pertec Ford. For some reason I've always liked this paint scheme. Especially just because of the color scheme and the pattern. And I also like how the wheels are painted yellow. So yeah. This has sponsored Cindric for a while, especially in his truck days and when he was at BKR. BKR, they were a good team. Lots of drivers won for them. But this paint scheme, however, sticks out more than any other paint scheme. But I know there's lots more that stick out, but this one, man, I like it. Looks nice. Can't wait to see. Cindric make a winner out of himself tomorrow night. Jeremy Clements, and number 51, repairablevehicles.com Chevrolet. These guys, repairablevehicles.com, have been sponsoring Jeremy for for a long time, really. Ever since he got a start, ever since his early days in the Xfinity Series. So, yeah, can't wait to see what Clemens does. I've always liked Clemens, he's a pretty cool dude. Next up, Chase Briscoe joined the number 98 Ford, Performance Ford. So, last week's race at Chicagoland was Chase Briscoe's first race with that Nutra Chomps. And now here's the second race. And it's kind of similar to the one he ran at the Roval last, last year when he won. It'd be cool if they painted the wheels white or a different color. Make it stand out more, but maybe it's just me. But I like this. The four performance car. Can't wait to see what he does tomorrow night. So go Briscoe. And I guess that's we'll end it right here. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And with that, happy Fourth of July, everybody.